my channel, you'll be seeing my face four to six times a week. And today is a very interesting video. And judging from the tag, you guys are probably like, why is it labeled that way? Why? And it is labeled this way because gluten-free skincare products and body products and shower products, shower products and everything is a thing. It's a thing, and gluten hides in things. Like my last shampoo and conditioner, I had to change because it has gluten in it. And I was like, darn it, because I love my stuff. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys my gluten-free shower routine. And I, you guys, I know it sounds strange, but this way, because gluten-free is in the title, those that are going through the change will be able to find this video more easily, and they will be able to figure out what they can use for their shower care and everything of the sorts. So I'm not going to spend too much time in this intro because I want you guys to be able to watch this video and see what's going on in this girl's shower time. So without further ado, let's get on this video. And before I forget, if you like this video, do not forget to, first of all, give this video a big thumbs up. Second of all, hit that subscribe button and Third of all, double whack that notification bell so you'll never miss another video from. And now we can get into the video. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I always do before I get in the shower is brushing my hair. And I always start from the ends and work my way up. This just makes it easier for me when I do my shampoo and conditioner. Now that we are in the shower, it is time to get my hair all wet and prep it. And now it is time for the shampoo. And I am currently using the Ren Pure Coconut and Vitamin E Shampoo. And you guys, this stuff is a miracle worker and it smells so good. Plus it lathers really nice, so that's a plus too. Next I do the bottom half of my hair and I purposely do it in two different chunks just because it's easier for me, especially with my hair growing longer than it was before. And then it's time to start shaving my legs and I shave my legs with my Ren Pure Coconut Milk and Vitamin E Body Wash. And I found that body wash actually helps me shave really well, so that's what I do. And then I rinse out all of the shampoo from my hair. And of course, it is now time to do some conditioning. And once again, I use the Ren Pure Coconut and Vitamin E Conditioner. And the whole line is seriously gluten-free, paraben-free, dye-free, etc. It's in my one of my favorites videos and like gluten-free toiletries and all that jazz. And shaving the other leg, which is using the same body wash, same razor, and everything is just the same. And of course, then it's time to wash our body, and I do have my own loofah, so that might be something for you guys to think about when you're making the change. And now it's time to start rinsing out all of that conditioner, and you guys, we're done. That is my shower time, you guys. And for my outfit after my shower, I'm wearing a pink razorback tank top, and I'm also wearing just some black Yoda shorts that has a pink waistband. The first thing that I do when I get out of the shower is I use the Healthy Sexy Soy Renewal Oil, which is Argan Oil, for my hair. And I brush it through with my fingers, and then I use my Secret Lutz Lavender Deodorant. This is one of the gel deodorants. And then I take a comb, and I just brush out all the products throughout my hair. I give it a chance to settle into my hair and let it kind of find its way through, and the comb just helps disperse the product even more. Then I'm going in with my coconut oil formula from Palmer's. It's a coconut oil that's also a body oil, and I only use this on my arms, nowhere else. And then I use my Central Market body lotion in the honey vanilla scent, and this is from HEB. This is what I use on my legs. And then I take the comb that has a tail on it, and I then make my part. And this is helpful for me for when it dries. It just dries how I put it, and it stays there. And just continuing to comb out the product to make sure that there's no tangles.
And now what I do is I use my fingers to shake out my hair so that it gives it more texture and it's not just sitting flat on my head. This helps give me volume in my hair considering that my hair is very heavy and it doesn't stay normally. And that is the end of my shower routine and hair care routine. I really hope you guys like that video because you guys that is, a, that is probably the most footage I've ever taken on my channel these past few videos and I've noticed that in order to improve my channel I gotta take more footage instead of just you know sitting in my lovely bed even though I love my bed who doesn't love their bed but I really really hope that this was helpful to some of you especially those that are looking for a gluten and dairy free shower routine and you know body care products shampoo conditioner body wash and all of that beautiful stuff so that we can look our best every day especially as females so i really hope that you guys like this video if you guys found it helpful if you enjoyed it if you can connect with me on some level please let me know down in the comments below Give this video a big thumbs up whack that subscribe button and of course double whack that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.